point of view of economics, clearly we can make a globalization that works. The challenges are politics. A necessary condition, I think, to make that politics work is reform of our systems of global economic governance. Democracy tempered the market economy. We never had a democratic globalization. The lack of transparency, openness, have meant that we wound up with a form of globalization that works for a few, but not for all of us. There are huge areas of general interest where the global community has an interest in cooperating and working together. Citizens now are beginning to understand that globalization matters. They are demanding a voice. They say, we don't want it to be done in secret. We, the people, want the rules to reflect our interest. And yet, very hard to move from the old order to the new order. The countries that dominated are very, very reluctant to shape that order. That was epitomized when the United States opposed the creation of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, a new institution designed to help poor countries and emerging markets to finance their investment, including for climate change, from which all of us would have benefit. The fact that they failed was testimony to the new reality. The emerging markets uh, have not waited just by the side. They have been busy trying to create a new reality on the ground. One of the most successful groupings of countries is ASEAN, both economically and, and politically, and that part of the world has been doing very well. In the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, got together and created the New Development Bank, focusing particularly on some of the new issues like climate change. So globalization has raised some fundamental issues about trust in our political leaders, trust in our institutions, the consequence of which we are having to deal with in the politics of 2016.